What's up everyone? Welcome to Film Spot and today we will be talking about upcoming Marvel movies. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has big plans for the future. To keep all of the upcoming Marvel movies straight, we've laid out the next few years worth of Marvel Studios films in this feature, which will take you through all of the official titles announced for phases 4, 5, and 6, as well as the unscheduled superhero movies that are currently in development. Black Panther Wakanda Forever premieres on the 22nd of November 2022. Ryan Coogler's Black Panther quickly became one of the highest rated Marvel movies by fans. While its international gross wasn't on the same level as Avengers Infinity War, there's no denying that it was an outstanding critical and commercial success for Marvel Studios. It's no wonder that Black Panther Wakanda Forever has been part of Marvel's MCU Phase 4 plans since as early as 2018, with Coogler being back in the director's chair. After Chadwick Boseman's tragic passing, there are no plans to recast Chala, and from the footage and trailers, it's clear that the character has likewise passed on in the MCU. The sequel is set to focus on other aspects of Wakandan culture. Shuri, played by Letitia Wright, will play a central role, but while there will be a new Black Panther, their identity is still a secret. However, what has been confirmed is Black Panther Wakanda Forever introduces Namor and an underwater kingdom strongly suspected to be Atlantis to the MCU. Namor is a character Marvel Comics fans have wanted to see on the big screen for years, and the conflict between Atlantis and Wakanda already looks to be a historic moment in the MCU. As Marvel updates the canon of their cinematic universe at the close of Phase 4, it's almost guaranteed that Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be game-changing for the MCU. The next of the non-MCU upcoming Marvel release dates is the Kraven the Hunter movie. Following in the footsteps of Venom and Morbius, the Sony Pictures universe of Marvel characters will continue with another movie focusing on a Spider-Man villain. It's not been confirmed if Kraven will be part of Sony's anticipated Sinister Six movie, however Kraven was an integral member of the villain team, so it looks likely. The idea for the solo movie was first broached in 2018. By 2020, it had a script written by Richard Wenk and then rewritten by Art Markham and Matt Holloway. Soon after, J.C. Chandor entered talks to direct the film. Little was heard about potential developments in the months that followed. Production then took a huge leap forward in May 2021 when Aaron Taylor Johnson landed Craven's titular role. Plenty of teaser trailers and first look footage clips have been released. Set for an early 2023 premiere, there have been questions about the film's potential place in Sony's Spider-Man universes and the wider MCU's multiverse, especially given Aaron Taylor Johnson's previous MCU turn as Quicksilver. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is coming out in 2023, and anticipation is already building for the long-awaited threequel. Following on from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne were confirmed for a third outing. Among the most noteworthy Marvel updates from SDCC 2022 is that Ant-Man 3 will be the first movie in the MCU's Phase 5. The duo will once again be joined by Michael Douglas's Hank Pym and Michelle Pfeiffer's Janet Van Dyne. Despite being played by Emma Furman in Avengers Endgame, Catherine Newton will assume the character of Cassie Lang. Peyton Reed once again took on directorial duties, working from a script penned by Rick and Morty's Jeff Loveness. Even though filming wrapped in 2021, the film has an early 2023 release date, a symptom of pandemic-fueled scheduling changes. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania should be worth the wait though, as the shrinking superheroes will face their biggest challenge yet, with the iconic Marvel villain Kang the Conqueror making his big screen debut. Marvel updates regarding Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 have been shaky for years, as the movies had a rocky road to production. Not least of these hiccups was director James Gunn's firing by Disney after offensive jokes he made on Twitter years earlier resurfaced. After both fans and colleagues came out fiercely in support of Gunn, the decision was made to rehire him, though not before he'd been snapped up by Warner Brothers to direct The Suicide Squad. Gunn moved swiftly from that to a Peacemaker TV spin-off. This and various other Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 delays meant that filming didn't start until 2021's final months. The Guardians 3 plot is under wraps, but will provide a closer look at Rocket Raccoon's backstory and have Peter Quill dealing with a version of Gamora who doesn't remember him. However, the full cast is confirmed as returning following cameo appearances from the Guardians in Thor Love and Thunder. 
Will Poulter will finally be bringing Adam Warlock to the screen after 2017's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 post-credits tease, and Shakuri Awuji will play the High Evolutionary, an interesting character from Marvel Comics. The next upcoming Spider-Man movie is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Another Sony Pictures entry, Miles Morales is swinging back into multiplexes in 2023. This sequel to 2018's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has taken longer than anticipated to surface. In addition to developing the story, it took several years to animate. Fans aren't too concerned Sony have taken their time though, especially with the visuals. The animation of Miles Morales' movie debut is partly why it became one of the most beloved superhero movies ever released. Shortly before Into the Spider-Verse hit theaters, Sony Pictures confirmed plans to produce a sequel. While story details are scarce, the trailers confirm that Gwen Stacy returns to Miles Morales' Earth to rope him into another Spider-Verse spanning adventure. This time, though, it's Miles who'll visit various alternate realities, and Spider-Man 2099 also set to play a key role. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse had initially webbed up a 2022 release date, but Sony has now pushed it back to the summer of 2023, which gives the animators enough time to ensure that the sequel lives up to the reputation of its original. Into the Spider-Verse 2 is already shaping up to be great, as it's also said to include Japanese Spider-Man. The Marvels is unusual among upcoming Marvel movies since it's a sequel to both an MCU movie and a Disney Plus series. While not a hit quite as big as the likes of Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel's first adventure was still a massive success. As such, it's no surprise that Brie Larson's Carol Danvers is set to return for a sequel in the summer of 2023. Now officially retitled as The Marvels, the sequel will see Carol join forces with a now grown-up Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan. The latter made her debut in the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series. The Disney Plus show laid a lot of groundwork for the Marvels, most notably with the Ms. Marvel post credit scene, which saw Carol Danvers and Kamala Khan swap places, with Carol emerging confused in Kamala's bedroom. The upcoming MCU movie Blade has taken a long time. The Blade reboot has a script written by Stacey Osei Kufour, and the Oscar-winning Mahershala Ali is attached to play the vampire-slaying titular hero. The MCU was dropping a lot of hints that Blade was not too far off after Easter eggs teased his existence in Loki, and Mahershala Ali's Blade was then confirmed to be the voice speaking to Kit Harington's Dane Whitman in Eternals. There isn't much known about the MCU's Blade reboot beyond Wesley Snipes' absence and that the movie will narratively sit closely with the Eternals in the wider MCU canon, similar to the cosmic space opera connection between Thor and the Guardians of the Galaxy. It will also assuredly feature vampires, since vampire slaying is Blade's thing. The original Blade starring Wesley Snipes has a huge following, many of whom aren't aware the movie was even based on a comic book. The 1998 Blade and its sequels aren't really superhero movies. They're action films with undead villains, closer to the Underworld or Resident Evil movies than anything featuring capes and cowls. It will be interesting to see both how a Blade movie works when it acknowledges the character's comic book superhero origins, and how fans of the original 1998 Blade film take to the character when he's seen along Alongside the likes of Spider-Man or Thor. Another non-MCU Marvel release is Madam Web. A part of Sony Pictures' universe of Marvel characters, Madam Web has been in development since 2019. Cassandra Webb, a mutant and an ally of Spider-Man, is a clairvoyant who is blind and paralyzed, relying on a web-shaped life support system to survive. Sony rehired Morbius writers Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless, which gives them a shot at redemption after the much-memed Jared Leto movie flopped. S.J. Clarkson, who worked on Jessica Jones and The Defenders, is attached to direct, and Dakota Johnson has been confirmed as the titular Madam Web. Madam Web will be Sony Pictures' first Marvel property adaptation with a female lead. Part 3 of Sony's Breakout Spider-Verse trilogy comes out in March 2024. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will follow on from the events of Part 1. If the trailers for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse are anything to go by, it will likely involve Miles Morales continuing to traverse the Spider-Verse alongside Gwen Stacy. While it's an outlier possibility at this point, Marvel is releasing an animated Disney Plus MCU Spider-Man prequel show, Spider-Man Freshman Year. 
since it was confirmed in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness that some realities are cartoons, there's a slim possibility Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse could be a way that Miles and Gwen encounter Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Captain America New World Order, which will see Sam Wilson taking up the mantle on the big screen, has been pegged for a May 3, 2024 release. The next Captain America movie will likely follow on from The Falcon and the Winter Soldier while drawing on events from other projects in the interconnected MCU. Anthony Mackie will be reprising his role as Sam Wilson. No further news on the cast yet, but Julius Ona is on board to direct. The full title was announced at SDCC 2022 alongside the new Captain America movie release date, so it's early days for the movie's promo. More new Captain America 4 news will likely come after the MCU Phase 5 begins with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Thunderbolts, speculated by some to be the MCU's answer to Suicide Squad, will debut on July 26, 2024. The Thunderbolts release date has been asked about online for a while, and Kevin Feige revealed it as part of the MCU SDCC 2022 panel, with the cast and character list for Thunderbolts being revealed later the same year at Disney's D23. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine is a character that's been suspiciously recruiting characters throughout Phase 4. As far as hints towards the Thunderbolts characters go, her mysterious actions had the highest likelihood of being linked to Thunderbolts. And sure enough, the team de Fontaine has been recruiting are indeed the MCU's own squad of antiheroes. Confirmed members are Yelena Belova, Bucky Barnes, US Agent, Taskmaster, Red Guardian, and Ghost. The official release date for the hotly anticipated Deadpool 3 has finally been revealed. The film will be the third project to star Ryan Reynolds as Wade Wilson, also known as Deadpool, the Merc with a Mouth. On Tuesday, Reynolds released a video on his official Twitter account revealing that Deadpool 3 will be arriving in theaters on September 6, 2024. The video is a cheeky announcement involving Reynolds bragging about how hard they've worked to make Deadpool's MCU debut special. The video also officially announced that Hugh Jackman will return as Wolverine, in a tossed-off gag involving a background appearance by the star. Hugh Jackman is returning as Wolverine one more time in Deadpool 3 with Ryan Reynolds, and joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the process. The final 2024 MCU movie will be Fantastic Four on November 8th. The Fantastic Four are among the most anticipated MCU additions, although it's not been confirmed whether John Krasinski will play the Earth-616 Reed Richards. It was announced by Kevin Feige at D23 that Matt Shackman had been signed on to direct, but there still weren't any cast details. John Watts had previously been on board to direct, but he exited production in 2022. Despite high hopes that D23 would bring more tangible info about the reboot, there hasn't been any solid MCU Fantastic Four news since the release date reveal at SDCC 2022. Still, fans are already excited for Marvel's first family to finally make their way to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and without any details, it still has the potential to be a game-changing MCU entry. The new Avengers movie release date is in 2025. Avengers The Kang Dynasty will be the penultimate movie in Phase 6, and the culmination of the events throughout the multiverse saga. Like Infinity War before it, The Kang Dynasty will likely be the first half of a crossover event spanning two movies. Obviously, very little is known about Avengers The Kang Dynasty at this point, save that it will feature Kang the Conqueror as the MCU's Thanos replacement. It's more or less certain Jonathan Majors will be continuing to play the MCU Kang after first portraying one of his variants, He Who Remains, in Season 1 of Loki. The second new Avengers movie release date is set for a winter 2025 window. Almost a year after Fantastic Four, Avengers Secret Wars will end Phase 6 with a long-awaited multiverse-spanning movie that will undoubtedly surpass Endgame in scale. It will probably draw from both 1984 Secret Wars and 2015 Secret Wars to give the Secret Wars battle world concept its own unique spin. As expected, no news on the cast, but there are already plenty of safe and not-so-safe bets about who could show up in the MCU Secret Wars adaptation when it hits screens in 2025 when Avengers Secret Wars is released. After his brief MCU appearance did a huge disservice to his character, Venom fans have been itching to know when Sony can redeem themselves with a sequel to Venom Let There Be Carnage. 
No release date for Venom 3 has been announced, but development is confirmed to have started. Tom Hardy will of course be continuing to play Eddie Brock and the titular symbiote, and there are a number of villains Sony could have the lethal protector face in Venom 3. While it looks like there's little chance for a Tom Hardy vs Tom Holland matchup, there's also no reason Sony couldn't make a rumored introduction of Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man to their on-screen Venom canon. While there were worries among fans that Spider-Man No Way Home would be Tom Holland's last MCU solo movie, it's been confirmed that he's signed on with Disney and Marvel for a second trilogy. There are no details beyond this yet, and since it's not been announced as part of MCU's Multiverse Saga lineup, it's likely to debut after 2025. However, Spider-Man Homecoming was a late addition to the announced MCU projects thanks to having to hammer out details with Sony. It could be that the first new Tom Holland Spider-Man 4 is due in Phase 5 or 6 as a late announcement. If it is though, it's a much better kept secret than Andrew Garfield and Tony Maguire's appearance in No Way Home was. There's been nothing so far to suggest a new Tom Holland Spider-Man movie in the near future. Intended as a spin-off from the original Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Woman aims to be an all-female Spider-Man film. The movie will see Gwen Stacy's Spider-Gwen return at the forefront. There are plenty of other Spider-Women from Marvel Comics Sony can and will be drawing on though. The characters of Jessica Drew and Cindy Moon are also planned for the film. Beck Smith is attached to write the screenplay, and there are reportedly ongoing talks to have Lauren Montgomery direct Spider-Woman. No release date has yet been confirmed though. First announced to be under consideration by Sony in 2018, Jackpot was revealed in 2020 to have been fully under development since that time. Mark Guggenheim, who worked on the original comic books as well as TV shows like Supergirl and Arrow, and movies like Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, and Green Lantern, is working on the screenplay. Jackpot is a moniker used by two people in the Marvel Comics universe. First to use the title was Sarah Errett, who is given superpowers when exposed to a gene therapy experiment from an Oscorp subsidiary. Later, Alana Jobson buys the title from Errett and uses enhancement drugs to mimic her powers before becoming an ally of Spider-Man. If minor Marvel characters like Jackpot are getting their own movies, there really is no telling just where future projects inside and outside the MCU could go. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.